Hi, thanks for joining me. Today I want to share with you something that I saw on YouTube and I'm going to make note of the young man's name in the comment section. I needed to check the oil level in my 2009 Jeep Patriot. It doesn't come with an oil, um, excuse me, not the oil, the transmission oil in my 09 Jeep Patriot. I found out it does not come with the dipstick. So I purchased the aftermarket dipstick at uh, AutoZone and it was, I kid you not, almost taller than me. And I put it in there, only half of it fit, the other half was hanging over. So I kept doing some research and found out that it's supposed to hang over and there's this whole little scientific thing that they do with the temperature and the oil in order to get the correct level in the in the um, transmission pan. Right. Anyway, to avoid all of that, I took the dipstick back and I'm going to try this uh, transmission dipstick hack that I saw. I was already told that the uh, oil dipstick fits in the transmission pan, so I'm going to see um, I was kind of wondering about that, but then this gentleman actually showed the details of what to do and the measurements to use. So this I wanted to show you is the oil dipstick. So you need that. I wiped it off, clean all the oil off. You'll need a measuring a ruler, a marker, and you need an etching tool. Now he used a... Um, an etching tool, it really is an etching tool, sort of like a sanding sawing type tool that comes on the end of one of the, um, it comes with the drip, I saw it with the Dremel and with some of the other hand tools and I don't want to pull out that, so I'm going to use the hand one, this is a battery operated one, which of course I don't have the batteries for it, this is as seen on TV one, which I don't have the batteries. I have AAA batteries, I need AA. But this is one, and it's really sharp, that I've used many, many times before. So I marked it already with some silver, but because I'm going to use this etching tool, I want to be able to see the grooves that I make in it, so I'm going to use a black Sharpie. Now a regular ruler has inches on one side and it has millimeters on the other side. So one side is metric and one side is inches. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see in details what I'm doing without, hopefully this is in, it's not really, really in focus, so hopefully that'll work. Now from the tip of the dipstick, so the minimum point is 32 in is 32 millimeters, excuse me. And then from the tip to the farthest edge is 44 millimeters. So let me write that on there. Low level is at 32 millimeters. High level is at 44 millimeters meters and I'm so glad that he gave that information because the information within the packaging was ridiculous they measure the temperature my thing is by the time you take the temperature the oil out of the pan the temperature has dropped some so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tip of the dipstick to the edge of this ruler on the metric side and I'm going to go up each of these uh, sections from section to section is eight just like on a ruler side it's eight I'm glad I did this always measure twice before you do it you are the rule is measure twice cut once so you don't make mistakes. So what I did was I put the tip of the dipstick to the tip of the ruler and I measured. 
up to four and got my 32 inches I mean my 32 millimeters however the tip the zero starts in a little and it's not at the very edge of the ruler so now I'm going to come back to line it up with the edge here with the number one or zero mark and I'm going to come up to four because four times eight will get you 32 and it's right there and I want you to see that marking see where the silver is here the edge of the silver is here and that's where I marked it at it's that much difference between the edge and the actual beginning markings and that could be a game changer maybe maybe not because you have this big uh, space that you work with but if it's showing it higher than what it is it could actually overfill and so now I'm going to that's my 32 millimeter mark and I'm going to set the tip back here at zero I'm going to go up to five five times eight will give me my 40 halfway in between will be the 45 so I need to come one down and it's this space here and I'm marking it in totally marking it in black because I'm going to etch it now I'm going to sit this down so that you can see it and you can see the difference in where the silver is here that would have been an overfill and I'm going to lay it down and measure it again that's that 44 it plus it would be 44 so that would have been overfilling here and that would have been under this is the safe zone is what it's called so when you when I flip it over on the oil side you'll see there's a there's markings in between here and those are the type markings I'm going to do I don't know if you can see that I can't see it too well and it could be because there's a lot of light in here but it says safe zone and then the markings I'm going to show you what the markings look like on your dipstick oil dipstick you have this here this is the area that's a dipstick that continues on and then you have this area and in here it says safe stay in the camera we'll be okay so this is the little zone that says safe and this is the dipstick as it goes goes on here it's cross hatched And that's what I'm going to do and all it is is doing markings like this in the space so that's what I'm going to do using this and it just needs to be enough so that I can see it when I'm marking so this is metal on metal and it marks the lines aren't very straight but it's going to work for what I'm doing and yes I'm putting a few extra marks way yeah. you can really see it that's the homemade side that I'm doing for the transmission side so these markings I can see through the black sharpie and this is the side for the oil that right in here says safe.
if I can keep it steady for the camera, you can see it. Let's see. And that's the side for the oil. So I just need to make sure I remember what side I'm checking, which it won't be a problem. I'm going to take a bit of alcohol and take that off. So these come in really handy. These are the handheld ones and they they come in handy. They don't work as fast as these other ones work, but it gets the job done and it cleans right off. So now I'm going to go and use it. Let's see, there it is. Perfect. That's the safe zone. So if it's down here, it's too low. Up here, it's overfilled. Now all I need to do is check it. All right, thanks for joining me.